I've seen a ton of highlights of your of your you know cards being pulled from your from your breaks, and you're always very entertaining when you pull a big card. Does mm -hmm. it does it desensitize you? Like pulling all these big cards all the time, does it desensitize you? And you're not able to actually enjoy collecting, or are you still able to find joy in collecting, even though you you know you're constantly exposed to a lot of the best of the best cards there are? Yeah, I I do not get bored or or. Uh, kind of glazed over when you pull or see and hold a very rare cool card like a tom brady one of one out of spectra uh that's something that's extremely rare you know i see cards every day in the shop in the breaks it's still really fun to see rare cool hot cards pulled out of the packs and boxes never get that old. oh snap oh snap what is this what is this Number to 35, 25, Jalen Hurts for the Eagles, purchased by Eugene T over here. My dude, I love to brag about it. I called it 2020. Told y'all he was going to be good. I told you too it was going to be good. Let's go, as they say. You win. You win. Bum, bum, bum. It's the only one in the world! Wow, Trey Lance, Niner Nation. David Chen purchased the Niners. Monster, I told you there was gonna be a monster thing on this side of the case. Um, but for me personally, I do not have a very large card collection. I think people may think that I have this amazing PSA slabbed world of high-end cards. I do not. If you have a 222 card somehow, that's for me. You know, if it's 222 out of 259, that belongs here. And, and these are my two favorite cards in my collection right here. These are my boys. You may remember these from the 2019 National. That's my two boys, Brixton and Colston. Uh, PSA had these made at the 2019 National Sports Card Convention. So that's awesome, Chris.